We're going to solve the linear equation, 4a plus 5 equals 2a minus 7. Since the other side can be simplified any further, we're going to use the addition property of equality to add a negative 2a to the right side and a negative 2a to the left side as well. We do this in order to isolate all variable terms on one side and all constant terms on the other. So this equation becomes 2a plus 5 equals negative 7. We do the same exact thing, but this time for the 5, so that we add a negative 5 to the left side of the equation, and a negative 5 to the right as well. So this equation becomes 2a equals negative 7 plus negative 5, which is negative 12. Last step, we need to get rid of the 2, so we divide both sides by 2. So that a equals negative 12 divided by 2, which is negative 6. The answer to our problem. Here we're going to solve the equation 3 times x plus 2 equals negative 9. First step is to distribute the 3 throughout the expression, which gives us 3x plus 6. Now we want to get 3x by itself on one side, so we're going to subtract 6 from both sides, which gives us 3x equals a negative 15. Now since we're solving for x, we're going to get x on this side, so we're going to divide by 3. Which gives us our final answer of x equals a negative 5. We're going to solve the equation 2 times quantity x minus 4 plus 5 equals negative 11. First, distribute the 2 across the x minus 4. Two x, two times x is two x. Two times negative four is negative eight. Plus five equals negative eleven. Next, combine like terms. Negative eight and negative five is negative three. We want to get the 2x all by itself, so we're going to add negative 3 to both sides. Divide both sides of the equation by 2. and x equals negative 4. Here we're going to use the distributive property and combine like terms to solve the equation 5 times quantity 2x minus 4 plus 3 equals 4x minus 5. Our first step is going to be using the distributive property. 5 times 2x equals 10x. 5 times a minus 4 gives us a minus 20 plus 3 equals 4x minus 5. Now we combine like terms which gives us 10x minus 17 equals 4x minus 5. Now we're going to add 17 to both sides. Which gives us 10x equals 4x plus now we're going to subtract 4x from both sides. Which gives us 6x equals 12. 
Now we're going to divide 6 from both sides, which gives us our final answer of x equals 2. We're going to solve this equation 2x plus 1 half equals 3 fourths. In order to do so, we need to clear out the equation of any fractions. So we need to find the lowest common denominator for 1 half and 3 fourths. The lowest common denominator for both of these is 4. So we're going to times both sides by the equation by 4 according to the multiplication property of equality. Distributing this over, this becomes 8x plus 2 equals 4 times 3 fourths, which is 3. Next, we need to isolate variable terms and constant terms on the inside of the equation. So we add a negative 2 to the left side and do the exact same thing for the right. These cancel out. So you're left with 8x equals 3 plus negative 2, which is 1. Next, we divide both sides by 8 to isolate this variable. This becomes x equals 1 over 8. The answer to our problem. Here's the equation x divided by 2 plus x divided by 6 equals 8. So our first step in solving a problem like this is going to be to multiply both sides by the lowest common denominator, which in this case is 6. Alright, so we multiply this side of the equation by 6, we're going to distribute the 6 across the fractions. So, x, or excuse me, 6 times x divided by 2 is 6x divided by 2, plus 6x divided by 6 is equal to 8 times 6, which is 48. Alright, so 6 divided by 2 is 3, so 6x divided by 2 would just be 3x. Plus, 6x divided by 6 is just x. And that's still equal to 48. So, 3x plus x can be added together to get 4x. And it's still equal to 48. So now we want to multiply both sides by 1 fourth. Alright, so we multiply 4x by 1 fourth. We're just left with x. And 48 times 1 fourth. Well, 1 fourth of 48 is 12, so x equals 12, and that's the final answer.